So to start off, it's really important to prep your skin. So today I've cleansed my skin using the Abaji C RX System Cleansing Gel. And after that, I use the Kristen Michael Strawberry Crush Polisher and Brightener just to take away any dead flaky skin that might be on my face. And lastly, I'm just going to spritz my face with the Kristen Michael Replenish Daily Spritz just to help rehydrate it after all that cleansing. Now to prime my face, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer just because my skin is a little bit dry these days with the summer. And then I'm just going to spray my Beauty Blender with some MAC Fix Plus since it's been a while since I went and squeezed it under the sink just to make it all bouncy again. And then I'm going to apply a thin layer of the Benefit Hello Flawless Foundation in the shade Hazelnut. Just bouncing my Beauty Blender all over that foundation onto my face. Now to conceal my dark circles, I'm going to go in with the MAC Corrector in the shade Pure Orange just to cancel out the darkness. And then for a highlighting concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW30. That difference though. Okay, so to conceal my blemishes, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. And on to baking. To bake my face today, I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I'm just going to use that same beauty blender and really pack on this powder. So first applying it in the triangles underneath my eyes. And then I'm also going to chisel out just below where I'm going to be putting my contour later. Just to help the contour stand out a little bit more. And then just down the center of my face, so between my eyebrows, the kind of bridge of my nose, uh, Cupid's bow, and my chin. Now we want to leave this on for about 10 minutes at minimum, up to 15 minutes I'd say. So in that time I'm just going to listen to some music and fill in my eyebrows. I'm using the It Cosmetics Universal Brow Power Pencil to fill in my brows today. So just combing them up and then going ahead and filling them in. And once 10 to 15 minutes has finished up, I'm just going to use a big luxe finish brush from Zoeva to get rid of any excess powder sitting on top of my skin. I love this big brush because it just makes the job so easy, like once with motion and most of the powder is gone and it's not going to move my foundation around at all. Now there will be a little bit of powder just along my lower lash line, so I'm just going to go in with a tapered brush, a little one, just to kind of attack all the little excess powder sitting just along my lower lash line. And then now setting my brows in place, I'm just using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So now moving on with my complexion, I'm going to take the Filmstar Bronze and Glow for medium to dark skin tones from Charlotte Tilbury, and I am going to go ahead and chisel out some cheekbones. This sculpt shade does have a little bit of a shimmer, but it doesn't really seem to come up on my skin, which is nice, and oh, this just gives me killer cheekbones. And then I'm going to take that same powder and just apply a little bit to my forehead and a little bit along my jawline. For blush today, I'm going to be using the NARS Jewel Intensity Blush in the shade Favour, and I'm just using the darker shade there. And for a highlighter, I'm using a brand new one. This one is from Laura Mercier in the shade Indiscretion. I've seen Beauty Life Michelle post a photo of this so many times, I finally went and picked it up. I love how subtle the glow is with this powder. It's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous product. Now moving on to my eyeshadow, I'm going to keep it real basic and just use the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Eyeshadow Palette. First I'm taking the shade Substitute for Love and just putting that all over my eyelid. And for this I'm using a MAC 242 brush. 
And next, taking a Sigma E40, I'm going to take the shade Freshly Toasted and just apply that into my crease. I'm also going to take a little bit of Freshly Toasted and just apply that to my lower lash line just to bring it all together. And now moving in with gel liner, I'm using the NARS Eye Paint in the shade Black Valley and this uh, fine liner brush that I just picked up from Zoeva. Next to Tightline and Waterline, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Pencil in the shade Noir. And then rocking my new bling bling. These are the Tarte lash curlers that they brought out for Christmas. I am obsessed. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and coat my lashes with some of the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. For lashes today, I'm just going to use about four individual lashes on each eye. These are the thousand hour individual lashes that I showed in one of my Christmas gift guides. And for lips today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Trust Issues. I'm obsessed with this lip shade. It is so, like, badass. I'm, I'm just obsessed. It's so nice. Now, to do something with this hair, I'm just going to brush it out first. And then I'm going to use the Charles Worthington Dry Shampoo. I'm just going to spray it on kind of each side of my head and then just down the center. And after I've sprayed it, I just kind of massage it in with my fingers, like tussle it around and just make sure it gets around and absorbs all the excess oil. And then I go and brush my hair again just to brush out any excess dry shampoo that's sitting in there. Now, I always get asked what I do to make my hair so like healthy and thick and whatnot. And it's been this baby right here. The Hair in Me Hair Rejuvenation Treatment has been doing wonders for my hair lately. Now I just want to create a little bit of texture, so I'm just going to use the Bedhead Hard to Get Texturizing Paste and I'm just going to run this through my hair just to make it kind of a little bit more PC and just kind of sit a little bit more, I don't know, it just gives me a bit more of an edgier look really. So just tussling, 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 just massaging that paste into my hair and this is what I ended up with. I love it. I'm feeling like the Kelly Saved by the Bell like part these days, so yeah. To finish off, just a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, and that is the end of this makeup look. I really hope you guys learned a little bit about baking and enjoyed the rest of the look. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!